Well, I hope your new year has been lovely so far. I hope you've been stopping by the stream to gain some channel points. It is once again time for Will It Kill. As a reminder, Will It Kill happens the last Friday of every month, just in case you guys didn't know. If you're like, oh, I have a sick, nasty clip, it needs to make the show, you can submit starting the Monday that week. You come to my chat room, you type in exclamation point form, it'll either make it to the show or it won't, depending on how sick, nasty it is. Now, a couple of things about Will It Kill, right? Some basic rules. I'm gonna show you a clip. I'm going to pause the clip when a character in a fighting game gets hit, and then I'm gonna say, Will it kill? Hence the name of the show, right? And then you, the chat room, will vote if the clip is going to end with that character perishing or if instead it's going to be your points that are perishing, okay? I would say that you should keep tally at home just for yourself. The other thing I would say, I do not recommend going all in on the first clip. I would save some scrap on the side, you know, so that you can spend it later. With that being said, if everybody is feeling up to it and ready to go, I would love to play for you the very first clip of our first Will It Kill this year. Jumps up, hits the assist. Oh, wow, Sale got cooked back there. All righty then, chat room. Let me let me adjust my uh, let me adjust my camera this way. I ask a very simple question. Will it kill? This is a two M starter? SSJ Vegeta, a character we don't we don't see this guy around very often anymore, do we? No spark. It is a Fenrich combo. Yeah, this is an Evo match. This is um a pretty historic match for a number of reasons. I think it seems like. 29% of you say yes, 71% of you say no. All right, we'll see if some of you remember this clip. Okay, let's go back. Oh, wow, Sale got cooked back there. We tried to reflect because it was the other side, but Fenrich with a 2M starter again. And yeah, as you said, Cell's dead. Four bars built here, though. Boom, boom. He can do Big Bang level three. And that's exactly what we're going to see. Now, is this going to kill? I think so, actually, yeah. It's pretty close. But I think it's enough. No. You know, I'm sorry to say even past Sajam gets wrong on the will it kill. You know that. And if you know, if you're a real Sajam fan, this should be the easy I really gave you a layup. You guys all complained the last show was too difficult. If you're a Sajam fan, you should know this clip. This is hold on. Pixel sliver. Overhead block. Go wow. for the barrier into level three. That was do you guys not remember? How many of you didn't realize that this was the clip? <laughs> it's literally the clip. I saw this submission and it said Steve my arm and I was like, what? And I cl <laughs> I clicked and I was like, oh yeah, there was a combo. I wasn't just dying. If you got this wrong, you're not a real Sage M fan. This should have been 100% no. I can't believe it. The best part is seeing in chat how many people were like, oh no, it's the clip. Easy. We gave you a layup to start the show. I told him Filament. He wanted to bust down on you guys. I was like, dude, we can't. They're going to just be so sad if we make this too hard. You know, we got to give him a little something, something. And he was, he was like, all right, all right. Now we can get into the real show. Okay, that one was, it's kind of a 19 clip show this time. You know what I mean? Now we can get into the real show. You guys ready? Hey, ha. O combo. all righty there chat room welcome to will it kill episode 13 i hope you've been doing well i hope the new year has been good for you so far we've made it inside okay your channel points up to this point were they were kind of monopoly money now it's the real fucking deal oh my god it's like the reverse of the last poll a lot of you guys are apparently kyo fans 74 percent. where's the 100 percent vote i'm waiting for chat to unite and really know the clips on this show. Not just coming in here, gambling with their fake money to really believe. 77% of you say yes. 23% of you say no. Okay. We've had a lot of KOF on this show, you know. We've had a lot. So I feel like by now you guys kind of have to be experts, right? We'll see. Olha só, o Shao Rei começou muito bem. O Cap fez a magia ali errada. Essa magia errada vai custar caro, meus amigos. Olha só esse combo. You know. Yeah, he was incredibly fucking dead. I'm sorry to say that, uh, you know, he was Omega dead. Seems pretty easy, right? There are some flashing lights on that clip, by the way. I just thought, I forgot to mention it before I played it on Twitch, but for the YouTube viewers, I forgot about that. KOF always does that on, like, the supers at the end. Uh, the Brazil KOF clip, I, you know, I didn't realize that was a thing. I didn't know 
that the more Brazilian you are, the more damage it does. Our next clip, we'll do some more KOF. I got one more for you guys. Look, we'll knock these couple of KOF clips out, out of the park. You don't have to worry about them anymore. Just boom, boom, back to back. Get them out of there, okay? And then the rest of the show should be a breeze. Yeah, also, if you're wondering, yes, this is 1080p. Let's get all. All righty then, chat room. Our 1080p footage here. So 1080p means that it's going to be a lot less damage, you know, so this is probably pretty close. You guys will let me know. 180p, 180p chat. This is 1080p footage. You can see it right here. And as you know, the rule on the show is the higher the quality, the lower the damage. That's just a simple rule of how this show works, okay? Turn the quality down. You want me to turn it down to 144p to make it do more damage? I feel like it would look literally the exact same. Like, I can't, I don't imagine it would adjust the, the footage at all. <laughs> Alrighty, 42% of you say yes, 58% of you say no. App apparently, you guys are aware that this is 1080p footage, so most of you voted no. I understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> She died. <laughs> she is all dead. Oh, uh, maybe I'll turn it down to 144p. Yeah, she's dead. She's still dead. Even in this, even in this footage, she still looks dead to me. I tried to adjust the glasses. Let's go back. Hold on. Let's <laughs> this or this. Nope, still dead. Damn, I thought a lot of you would vote yes on that. I'm actually kind of surprised. Yeah, for those of you wondering, that is King of Fighters 2002, not UM. I'm pretty sure the first clip was UM. The next clip, I saw him in chat. Ryan is is unable to vote on this one because his submitted clip made it into the show. Ryan submitted this one, so you know he's a trickster, and we'll see how it goes, okay? We'll see how it goes. All righty then, chat room. I don't know if I even need to worry about my camera here because she is full life when she gets hit by this. A non-counter hit close slash starter. I'm choosing to live in the world where this doesn't kill. <laughs> this is like the matrix. You're like, I'm plugging myself back in. Give me the blue pill. There's no way this <laughs> kill. I like the gusto. This is, ooh, the cleanest it could ever be, 50. 50. This is a tough one, I gotta say. It is a, a rough one to guess. All right, we'll watch it back just for the hit. <laughs> you know, chap. I. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, I'm sorry to say she not. I was shocked when I saw this combo, like, obviously it's going to be a lot of damage, right? But on the super, like, I was like, oh, that is so much life. I was like, it's fine. Like, there's no way that this is dead. Like, yeah, she's okay. I was like, damn, that's a good clip. Like, it's a good no, you know, almost full risk. And then it killed. And I was like, what? They do the H and K <laughs> impression at the end. Yeah, there, dude, there's something else I got to play too. You remind, you reminded me. <laughs> the, the singing at the end. Oh, man, it's so good. 0 and 4. That is a rough start. Oh, man. 0 and 4 in this show. This is a gimme so far. It's been two KOFs and now Strive, the game you guys all know and love. I was told everybody is an expert on this game, and I'm shocked that anybody could be wrong. Our next one, speaking of experts in the chat. Our next one is going to be near and dear to many of your hearts, I'm sure. It's more Guilty Gear, so okay. It's something you guys will know. And it's a type of despicable behavior that only the people in my chat seem to partake in. I don't know why, but you guys are real uh, pieces of shit. So let's take a look at the clip. I will get out of the way for you. All righty then, chat room. I ask a simple question. Will it kill? It is, in fact, a gold burst starter. Burst is going to be back on the table for Anji himself, but it's not going to be used in this clip whether it kills or not. So it is a gold burst. Yeah, you can combo off gold burst. Whatever life jam votes on this, I would copy him. If you got channel points, you know, he is the wizard. In fact, this clip, when it got submitted, 
it even said like i've been doing this shit before life jam and i was like damn it's like that i was shook i was like you're kidding me damn this one was close too. 51 percent of you say yes 49 percent of you say no this one is right down the line okay i'll play it from the start he's trying to study the frames he's like what is this Yeah, he fucking died. Not only that, but the scaling on the combo is ridiculous. Like, that shit was doing no damage for so long. He did two supers. He's like, this is fine. And then he was still going. Like, he had he had more juice in the tank. This character is so nasty. <laughs> this is the one you guys are like, yeah, I can't wait for Testament to come back. You guys are fucking demons. I don't know what your problem is. We've got our next up. We're only five in, right? So it shouldn't be, this is not too, it's not too late, okay? Is what I'm trying to tell you. I lost three in a row. There's no way you would lose four in a row, right? The odds are too unlikely. I don't, I don't buy it. Okay. I think this person did a lot of giveth and taketh in the last will of kill. So this is your chance of redemption. Banana can, back at it again. All righty, then chat room. Last time we had Golden Tager, and this is your chance of redemption and or securing your knowledge. This is not the clip where you got to sit here and be like, man, what am I going to do? You can redeem yourself. I think last time it was no question mark. Like, I feel like 85% of the Blaze Blue clips that are submitted are Golden Tager. So we've seen a lot of Golden Tager clips. Chat, I don't remember if this kills or not. <laughs> I myself have seen so many. I feel like I don't remember. 51% of you say yes. 49% of you say no. This show is rough. You guys are unsure. There is not really a lot of consensus in a lot of these. All right, let's take a look. You know, it didn't kill. I gotta be honest with you, I think we found the only clips on the internet of Golden Taker not killing. <laughs> How am I 0 and 6? There's no way you'd be 0 and 7. Some good scores in here too. Some of you, I saw someone say 4 and 2. Yeah, 4 and 2 is not bad. I think I saw 5 and 1 too. Oh, that's a 1 and 5. That's two 1 and 5s. That's another 1 and 5. Wow. Are you guys getting smoked by this show? I'm shocked. Wow. Alrighty, well, the next one. This video is called Tw Tekken 7 20x Dragonfly 2s in a row. Alrighty then, chat room. I ask a very important question. Will 20 Dragonfly 2s in a row kill? Can I show it again? He did Dragonfly 2. And he's going to continue to do Dragonfly 2. Yeah, IDK what that means. It's time. Time to go all in. All right. All right. I love the gusto, though. I can't, I can't hate on that. It's looking like most of you are refusing to believe. 29% of you said yes. 71% of you say no. It's a lot of life to chew through. Let me play this from the start, and you can tell me if 20 Dragonfly 2s are going to kill. You know, Chad, I'm sorry to say. He was one Dragonfly 2 away. If it was 21 Dragonfly 2s, you know, I think he would have had him. He would have had him in the second half, I'm not going to lie. Can I just say, this is why I don't play big characters. You see this shit? I mean, can you imagine getting hit by some goofy-ass shit like this? <laughs> Good thing I did the math. <laughs> How can I do this to you? You lost your house? I'm sorry, but a deal's a deal. <sighs> hand them keys over Alrighty, chat we have one of your favorite activities up next we have a couple two who will it kills now instead of you having to vote whether it kills or not someone is gonna die but your objective in chat is to choose who and i mentioned that we usually have strive in these they, they always end up in here somehow and you know that kind of thing happened again so let's take a look this is potemkin versus happy chaos so one of these two is gonna die
All righty then, chat room. They both don't have that much life, but this is, it's kind of a horror game. It's kind of a horror game. That mirror is gonna slowly slide along the screen, and you have to figure out if this super is gonna kill before it reaches happy chaos. Somehow this game always has this. It's especially with supers in this game. I feel like telling which is gonna win the clash of supers. It's a whole, you need a PhD in Strive Economics. You know what I mean? Like you really gotta sit down and be like, all right, let's fucking figure this shit out. All right, it looks like 38% of you think Happy Chaos is gonna win here. 62% of you think Potemkin's gonna win here. You guys are believers in the horror show, huh? You think the horror movie's gonna happen? All right, let's watch it. Not rock, I'm voting gun. Nah, he's good. My dude's fine. <laughs> he's doing all right. Could be worse. The problem is the last hit of this hits one, one frame before the mirror. You know, it's, it's tough to call. That's just how it goes. The one frame robbery, I robbed you? How? How sway? All right, let's take a look at our next clip here. We have another Who Will It Kill. I don't know how it's always possible to be so many. This seems like a format that shouldn't support itself that long, but for some reason, Who Will It Kills are always so good. All right, let's take a look. Makoto versus Akuma, third strike. I'm sure you guys heard the music earlier. Let's get into it. How could Rocco fail me? There is no rocks here. Someone is dead. The problem is not whether rock will prevail. It's whose rock is bigger. Who will kill? Who's dead here? Makoto or Akuma? I'm voting Akuma for once. I like that energy. Wait, did you vote Akuma? Okay. The trickery of my viewers is kind of substantial. I'm kind of surprised how often they just try to throw people completely off. They're like spamming in the chat. He dies and they vote no. Like it's fucked up. You guys are clutching those channel points, huh? You guys suddenly are not so much big spenders. A lot of rock talk in this chat until suddenly you see this clip and you're like, uh. 54% of you say Akuma wins. 46% of you are saying Makoto win. All right, brave to vote Akuma, I say in this clip. Very brave, but we'll see. Okay, let's go back a couple of seconds. You guys can see the supers again. Do you guys even know still? Yeah, yeah, he knew. You can hear Makoto do the Damn, this one is close. I can't imagine. I'm shocked that Akuma didn't die to the first hit of the super. I thought for sure he was smoked. You hate to see it. To wrap up our first half here, we've got a clip from a game I'm sure a lot of you have been playing a lot of. And uh, it's really setting the tone because I gotta say, the second half of this show, a lot of people were saying the Kusoge used on Willakill is not prime degenerate Kusoge. A lot of people claimed that the Kusoge I use is too mainstream. So the second half is pretty gnarly, but to compensate for that, I figured I would end the first half with a really mainstream clip, okay? You guys all think, oh, you know, this mainstream stuff, it's so easy. You know, you, you wanted this to be a thing. All these mainstream games, like, okay, then fucking tell me if this Monster Hunter clip kills. All righty then, chat room. You tell me if the Volvodon, after hitting the shock, is gonna kill Ichi, the hunter, and uh, you let me know. This is a good starter. It, it's got good scaling. Show defense value. Um, his health bar is green. This is not a fighting game. Excuse me. I don't recall saying that I'm not allowed to use Monster Hunter clips in the show. Get your bet in. If there's anybody who can make a legality claim on the video it will be the game's master and that would be me oh my god 49 percent of you say yes 51 percent of you say no there is also i don't know if a lot of you guys notice he's got a wire bug burst on the table uh-oh let's get right into it he lives he lives but he cannot Wireberg because he's stunned. And he's dead. That's a true combo. You hate to see it. That shit is tragic, isn't it? Dizzied. Comboed. Stunned so he can't Wirebug. Smoke. 
You hate to see it. Average charge blade user. I'm pretty sure that's optimal. I don't think, it, I mean, he also died, so it can't be that much more optimal, right? All right, so that's our halftime. So, so far we've done all the, you know, the normie clips. And our second half is, it's some bullshit. I'm serious, man. Yesterday, people in chat were like, you don't have this prime weird Kusoge. It's, you got too much like fucking mainstream shit. So we scrapped all our H and K, Sara, and we are like, all right, we'll see what they got in the fucking tank. You know, we had to really pull out some stuff. In the meantime, I've got a bunch of bonus clips to show you guys. You know, when you watch, you got some channel points you can get back and stuff like that. I wanted to use this clip, but this clip is too hard to use because not it has this built in pause, but I can't really show it because if you see the hit, you know, she's dead. That's the pro, you know, you can't really, she's dead, right? So, you know, it's kind of hard to like use this. Right? That's just how it goes. A lot of people have been asking. I get sent messages all the time that are like, why don't you just show nasty mix ups? And then you can just call it will it mix and the chat can guess where the mix up goes. And the thing is, we already do that in the halftime show. In the halftime show, we already do mix ups and show stuff. In fact, I've got a mix up for you guys to watch right here. You guys can tell me if you block this. Well, you know, it was. Uh, yeah, you guys were ready or did you see it? Look at the pink, 122, 132 over here. There, I don't even know what kind of internet is happening between these two. Part of the ethernet cable is like in a can and a string and it's like a snake. It's wrapped around a snake over to a router and then that's plugged into somebody else's like microwave. Like, I don't know what the situation is with the online here, but it is a jump scare. I also got submitted this clip. I, I think this was in the bonus, like maybe 15 times. Everybody seems to love this clip. It's like, it, I mean, this clip is a classic, right? Him <laughs> pulling out the gun is like so funny. He pulls out the gun, he's like, yo, chill. Yo, chill. And then, <laughs> yes, this is the DS port of Guilty Gear Strive. This is a Switch version. It looks it looks better than Pokemon Arceus, if I'm honest with you. Pretty comparable graphics. He just pulls out the gun. He's like, yo, you gonna catch that Snorlax? Are you catching it or am I? What's up, huh? You wanna make that decision for me? I also got submitted this a lot, and, you know, I wanted to use this, but I'm pretty sure this is Tass. This footage, if you guys haven't seen this, is Common Rider clip. Like... This channel has like a bunch of other task stuff. I don't know if you guys. The way he kicks him. It's like getting removed from your spiritual, your body from your spirit. You know, you're just like, let me kick the spirit out of you. I'm pretty sure this is task. But otherwise, it would be great. We normally don't show task or training mode style combos on here. I love that he's pulling shit on his belt and everything. Yeah, he's dead. Taz is tool assisted speedrun. So like somebody just plugs in all of the inputs to something and then it gets played out. So you don't have to execute it or do anything. I think I have one more bonus to show you guys, mostly because Ryan brought it up earlier, but sometimes the clip itself is funny, but the outro is funnier. And the this clip almost made the main show, but we just thought the outro was so fucking funny that we were like, man, it almost has to make it just for outro alone. Like it's such a funny clip. It's a trade super. He runs up. This is where I was going to pause it while he's sprinting towards him off the trade super. And then he kills him. <laughs> and then there's a random. What is this? I don't think that is this Van Damme. No, it didn't look like him to me on first look, but you might be right. <laughs> Alrighty, chat. Now that the halftime's over, shake it off, shake off the rust. You get ready, get your game face on. I've got a great clip for you guys to start it. You guys really wanted some weird shit, huh? Our first clip of the second half is Arm Joe. You guys know this? They're both at full life. Alrighty then, chat room. Will it kill? This is, if you guys don't know what Arm Joe is, by the way, for those of you guys who are Kusoge experts, this is a Les Mis fighting game. Yes, the musical. And she is RKOing him, if it's not obvious. Her name, I believe, is uh, Cosette. This is what you guys wanted, huh? You claim that we weren't bringing the heat. You're like, oh, you guys got boring Kusoge. Oh, another HNK clip. This is how you want to be, huh, chat? 62% of you say yes. 38% of you say no. You say, my dude, Javert's chilling. He's in the streets. All right, we'll see about that. <laughs> the French flags. <laughs> 
In the chat, the French flags. All right, let's see. Let's find out. The kiss. Kick him in the nuts. Perfect. It looked perfect to me. She wants that bread, that baguette. Who is this? Who's the stand in the background? Can someone explain this to me? Who is this? Because he is punching the shit out of Jabber in this clip, I gotta say. Jean Valjean. Okay, so she's got JCVD. <laughs> so she does running, bam, then OTG kiss, then call in the stand, double nut kick, big punch, double uppercut. It, it really is a stand. Why does she stop time? I guess you haven't seen the musical. Check it out. <laughs> All right, that's our first one. Now that we can get into some more, some Kusoge you guys are probably familiar with. Our next clip is from Rabbit. You guys don't know about Rabbit? Oh, it's just me, huh? Just I know about Rabbit? Okay. Not a big deal. This is not based on a play or a musical from what I know. <laughs> All righty then, chat room. You can see he's stocked and loaded in the bottom left there. He's got, well, I, well it looks like a wolf. A hawk, a bull, a fox, a tiger, and a rabbit. And I think she only has hawk gauge, I'm pretty sure. And the beast meter is not full on her end. Can just a hawk kill? That's a great question. Who got hit? The character floating in the air doing a quadruple overhead hit the character on the ground. Player two hit player one. This will be on the final exam, by the way. Will it kill is cumulative. The will it kill from six months from now, there will be a rabbit clip. 52% of you say yes, 48% of you say no. Uh, all right, some rabbit experts in chat. Let's see. Yeah, he's dead. She also now has everything to fill Noah's Ark. Two of every animal in the bottom right and bottom left. So, you know, it looks good. Actual reverse damage scaling. Yeah, I'm not really sure why, but like it was doing like nothing. And then all of a sudden he just died. Everything did way more damage and the super just killed. You know, that is how it goes. We're going to get a little bit more normal into some clips you're probably a little bit more familiar with as this goes on. I didn't want it to only be games you've never heard of, okay? This game, I get submitted a lot, actually. What's the name of this? This is Toho Hyo Ibani, uh, Anatomy of Common Flowers. So if you're a big Toho fan, this is your time, okay? All righty then, chat room. I wanted to pause it even earlier, but this is a seven hit instant DP. I'll let you make your decision. Off of Broom DP? Yes, the Broom Uppercut. Every time this game gets submitted, I'm always just like, I really don't know what's happening, but it's pretty funny. I think we've had maybe, what was the other Toho clip we had? Was it like the UFO one maybe? Damn, you guys are really torn on this show. This this show has really been tearing you guys apart in the chat room. You guys are unsure. I feel like every clip is so close to even. 47% of you said yes. 53% of you say no. All right, let's 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 take a look. All right, let's see which of you are Toho experts. We'll go back. I can't lose my 8-0 copium. Yep. Got her, dumbass. If this isn't how you look after you flush the toilet, then you're doing something wrong. If you don't have enough fiber in your diet, you don't walk out looking like this, you did something wrong. That's all I'll say. Yeah, what happens is we called this clip for short, and Filament and I referred to this as spinning into gong. You may see why. And random arms grab you from the bathroom, and then you get flushed and you die. I'm not really sure what the lore behind that super is. That seems kind of ridiculous. Flush like Dark Souls 2. <sighs> it ought to be a hit by this super, I'll tell you what. We got our next clip here. Man, I forgot. I forgot that the most normal clips we have in this half are DOA. DOA should be real normal compared to the shit you've seen so far. So you should just be ready to crush this. He's gonna break her arm seven times. Alrighty then, chat room. 
he did a jumping two-handed overhead spike and she got hit she's got to be dead right well she doesn't have any armor on that's for sure he is wearing what seems to be at least mid-level armor right like that's leather armor or something and she's not wearing any armor which seems to me like she would take more damage i'm not sure exactly how it works is this the house in re4 yes she's not wearing enough armor she should be though unless you're playing demon souls or dark souls then you should take off your armor and roll around 52 percent of you say yes 58 percent of you say no all right let's let's take a look let's take a look let's see if this is a 58 percent say no Why the fuck is this guy so violent? Why does he grab this person and throw them through a set of pot? Like, what is his fucking problem? When I think of DOA, it's like funny and it's like happy. Why is this? Who invited this guy? Huh? The thing about this clip that is the most absurd to me is the noise it makes when he throws her through the pots. For what reason? He's got issues. This dude needs therapy. So there's that clip. I got submitted that clip and I was like, is this actually even DOA? Like, I had no idea. I was like, this shit looks wrong. Then we get the next clip that looks like this. And I'm like, this looks more, this looks more like what I would expect DOA to look like. Alrighty then, chat room. I ask a very simple question. We're outside, there's no pots. Is that a shake weight? It could be a barbell. It also could be a shake weight. She's buff as fuck, so it's probably a real workout tool. Which DOA is this? So the last one was 5LR. This one is 6. 48% of you say yes. 52% of you say no. She's all the way up in the air. I love the music, by the way. Why? Why the fuck did this dolphin launch her in the air to T-pose and then splat her back into the arena? What the fuck do you mean? Why did the dolphin kill her? It's like an exterior force in this battle. Why is there a dolphin committed to the bit? Like, where did this dolphin even come from? Look at this shit. T-pose. Bam. They were working on a routine together and then just spikes her. Totsugeki, her dumb ass into the sand. Holy smokes, that was messed up. That is the May assist. Yeah, when is May getting that shit? That's a great point. DOA is a wild ass game, you know that? I was like, what in the hell? All right, we're going to get something a little bit more homegrown, okay? You're going to look at it and be like, thank God we're not doing some weird shit that I just don't know anymore. You're going to see Iori and you're going to be like, okay, we're back to normal shit. Should be good. Should be a fun one. Alrighty then, chat room. Easy peasy. Gets the hit on the other side, all the way from downtown. It's the thing from the fungal waste in Hollow Knight. Yeah, it's a crossover game. I figured it was a little bit more of a classic. It's Neo Geo. Battle Coliseum. Yeah, it's, it's a classic. A lot of this show has been really close. A lot of it. It's been really surprising to me. I feel like normally the show is a lot more, you know, you guys really believe one way or another. You're like, that sh this motherfucker's dead. Or like, eh, it's not gonna which maybe that's just the testament that the clips are, are tough to guess. 45% of you say yes. 55% of you say no. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, he's good. He's chilling. Look at this motherfucker looking at the life bar like, bro, he didn't die. You can follow the eye up to the life bar like, nah, dude. You're serious? He's lived? He's checking the board. He's like, man, this is how much life he has on the superstars. Imagine me sitting in here, like going through hundreds of clips. I click the link. I see a fucking alien fighting Iori, and I'm already, I'm like, hold up. This has got potential. And then I see this long ass combo with this squid jumping around and then i see the super and i'm like damn i wish it didn't kill this would be a perfect clip for the show and then he lived and i went to the column where to mark it and it normally we put s if it makes the first pass and i put s plus 
I knew it right away. I was like, that clip is making the show. It looks good. It's a squid killing Iori, and he lives. I want my points back. Got to watch the stream or get right on a big bet. The points are all up for sale. You just need to, at any point, you just need to watch my stream for X amount of time, and you'll have more points, you know? That's just how this works. I don't make the rules. Alrighty, chat. The next one, back to games that you guys know and love. We have some Dan Kugo. You guys were like, no, man, you don't have these weird Kusogays. Give me some shit I've never seen before. So we got Dan Kugo. Alrighty then, chat. He doesn't, he only has one, two, three, four, five, six bars of crush gauge. And Marco, he's got four. <laughs> I looked at the chat and it said, please say jam, I beg you. What? You guys asked for this, to be fair. You're in your ivory channel point towers watching Kianta like with a cigar, like, ah ha ha, this is so easy. Croc with a Glock, like, welcome to the real world, motherfuckers. This is how it is out in the streets. You think this shit's a game? You guys gotta fuck around and find out. 64% of you say yes, 34% of you say no. Let's see, from your ivory towers. Don't die, Toast Rider. <laughs> and not a tear was shed that day. Because he got stunned again. It's a fucking re-dizzy and he died. Can you believe that shit? I thought the combo was over too, but he died. Yeah, all you as Tekka mains should have known. It's like one move for 85% of the combo. Yeah. Good old Dan Kuga. At least he's got full crush meter. That's true. It looks like an 80s or 90s beverage, does it not? Like I look at that thing and I'm like, man, that shit tastes like sugar. I could go for a crush gauge. I'd buy a crush gauge Slurpee. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Alrighty, chat, we're winding down here. We've got three clips left. To wind down, I wanted to give you guys something familiar before we venture into the unknown. Nitro plus blasters, okay? This game has been on here many times. You guys have seen it a lot, okay? Gonna be an air hit, whiffs, and then gets the hit on the ground. You tell me, chat. We watched a lot of Nitro Plus Blasters at this point. So I feel like you guys kind of got to know what the deal is here. Ethica, easy kill. <laughs> she looks pretty determined in their picture in the top right. The combo is ethical, therefore it won't kill. You're kind of spitting. Fuck it all in on rock. I feel like the rock throwers have been a little timid this show. People are being a bit more cautious, which is smart. It's a smarter way to play the game, right? A lot more no's than I would have expected. 60... 4% of you so far leaning. Oh, it's it's growing. This is an ever-growing rock collection. Some fucking uh, geographers in here. 67% <laughs> of you say yes. 33% of you say no. Yeah, geographers. All righty, let's get into this clip. Let's see. Yeah, geographers. <laughs> that's why I laughed, because I said geographers. I was like, well, nah, that's, I'm not changing my mind. Man, she really drop kicks with the fucking best of them. Holy shit. It's just, it's basically side wonder. I think that's an accurate description of the chat right now. A lot of people breaking down. The records are looking abysmal. I'm seeing some nasty records in the chat. I gotta say, I've never seen more like seven to like you know a lot. Like it's it's been kind of bad. This has been an unethical episode to say the least. Okay, the next two clips to wind out the show are the same game. They're a new game. I've never been submitted this before. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get this correct. This is Kini Ikuman Muscle Grand Prix 2. Kiniku Man? Kiniku Man? Okay, that's the clip. Let me, let me slide this over here. Alrighty then. <laughs> Alrighty then, chat room. He's against the ropes. Why is he a fencer? Uh, look at his face in his picture over there. Like, you think he knows what he's doing around here, Terry the Kid? <laughs> Against this character's name, by the way, that is, is doing the combo, Big the Budo. Kiniku Man Muscle Grand Prix 2. What a game. I saw this. You know, like, when I'm scrolling through the list, there's always games. It's like Guilty Gear, Blaze Blue, Street Fighter V, Hakoto no Ken. And I see a name like this. I'm like, what the fuck are people submitting to the show? And I clicked on it and was like, oh, my God. <laughs> What a game. There are some wild, wild clips of this. 63% of you say yes, 37% of you say no. All right, let's play the clip. Yeah, 
Yeah, he died. Not only does he get hit against the ropes, not only does he get command thrown against it, bounced off, he does Killer Bee's fucking lariat at the end there, but he gets guaranteed OTG killed at the end. That shit did so much fucking damage. Look at, look at how much that did. One hit though, it's a guaranteed OTG. It's like a Tekken spike after the rage drive. This is what the wrestling game is like. There was another clip. I'm not kidding. There was another clip where this guy TOD someone with 17 super kicks. I was like, okay, good to know. Our last clip. Our last clip of the show. This features maybe my favorite fighting game character I've ever seen. He really grew on me so fast, and I can't say enough nice things about him. So the last clip of our show, same game. Okay, different combo. It is Springman, yes. This isn't the combo, though. This is just a normal Springman B&B. Alrighty then, chat room. <laughs> I ask a simple question. Springman lands the command throw. Will, will I kill? I'll play it back for you guys. You can watch it again. There's a little flippy do. Power up, grabs him. He's even got the evil Springman eye there. Let's see. This is our last clip of the show. If you haven't got your votes in, get them in now. Our final clip of our first episode of 2022. <laughs> Springman, one of my favorite fighting game characters ever now. I gotta say, I'm a big fan of the way he moves. 62% of you say yes. 38% of you say no. Non-believers, it's a 6-4 matchup in Springman's favor. Let's find out if Springman has it in him. Let's see. Yep, Springman's got him in him. He does the everyone loves a slinky super. Everyone loves a slinky, slinky, slinky. Go, Springman, go. <laughs> Look at the announcer's faces on the side. Everybody's shocked. This is the chat room. And I'm not kidding. This is the most fucked up part about this clip. The notes say, because Springman is at low health with blue KKD, he receives a 30% damage buff, which allows this super to kill. And I thought to myself, ah, of course. Why didn't I notice that when watching the clip? <laughs> of course. No wonder I didn't expect it to kill. You know, I didn't mention it during the show either, and I'm not sure how many people in the chat noticed, but last episode was like a notoriously high version of no's. Do you guys know how many yeses were in this show versus no's? <laughs> There was four no's, I believe, in the show. And the rest were all yeses. Sometimes this happens, okay? Sometimes there's just a lot of yeses that are really funny. And, you know, you can only do so much, right? I didn't come here to mostly hit you with yeses, but after the last show with so many no's, I feel like everybody was like, I'm not just going to throw yeses anymore. And it was the worst episode ever to not just throw yeses constantly. How, uh, how's it looking? How's everybody's records and or channel points at the end? Seven and seven, 10 and 10, 13, five, 15, five, three and 17. It happens. 12 and four, I've abstained from all the KOF clips. What a coward. <laughs> 8K to 72, not 72K, just 72 points. I was gonna ask, I was gonna say, that's a good show for you. I'm glad that you broke that down for me.